The National Theatre sits idly in the heart of Lagos, the architectural masterpiece, a national pride and custodian of the Nigerian cultural heritage has lost its old glory. Plans to revive the old iconic building has hit the rocks in the past. With privatization on the table, the decision to let go of such monument did not sit well with some stakeholders. So the relic continued to bear its mark of wear and tear with very low revenue generation capacity. But today, history is being made with political leaders, regulators, and key players in the private sector collaborating to see the restoration of the edifice and its 154 hectares of adjoining land assets. Mr. President has clearly demonstrated that he recognizes that a renovated National Art Theatre and the complementary facilities that will be created along with it will help in unleashing the creative talent of Nigeria's youth across multiple sectors and in supporting his objective of creating new employment opportunities for Nigerians. It's a historic moment for us for two reasons. Firstly, it marks the restoration of our national heritage. Secondly, it marks the true beginning of the creation of a proper and well-structured creative industry for the government. Job creation tops the list of gains from the facelift the national asset is about to get. They are targeting the four verticals of IT, fashion, film, and music. This project would not lead to a single job loss. Instead, it will create more. The host governor, Babajide Sonwolu, acknowledges the role of President Momodou Buhari's support in regenerating the monument. In the next 18 months, maximum, there are no reviews, there are no contract delays. Maximum 2022 months will be bringing Mr. President here, and all of us will be walking him around the new reform, revitalized National Arts Theatre and all of the adjoining buildings whilst we are still in government. A tour around the facility shows the monument still carries its old beauty inside out. For development and upgrade. The official landing over of this asset, the National Theatre, has taken place, but the federal government insists that it still holds the key to this relic. But what it means is it's trying to turn this almost dead asset to a good mine. The federal government and the bankers' committee believe that with more than 20 billion naira earmarked from the Creative Industry Financing Initiative, this asset will come alive again. Dari Ido, Channels Television News.